so today is August 5, 2019. So medyo po natagalan ang pag-upload ko ng video kasi there was really like um, in Japan today guys or last week um meron po silang outbreak dito. Ibig sabihin ng outbreak, may mga bata talagang nagkakasakit ng foot and mouth disease na actually it was really spreading right now in Japan. being affected by that disease so what I did we went to the doctor and I have some you know pictures about that we went to the 93 year old doctor now in the clinic just a kitchen has to see a skin clinic doctor and mom is really stressed very hard to do to know what is the appropriate drug just to have for my baby but the doctor said that there was no specific drug that they are going to prescribe for my baby so what I did guys um bumalik ako sa traditional way although Japan right now is really famous because of you know a lot of technologies and you know you can access immediately to the doctor and it's for free for kids but now since the doctor said to us and I'm very worried because I'm a mother and my baby is uh, one, year, one year old and I know um, you know my baby has no vaccine at all so you know worry talaga kami at saka uh, pasensya na po kayo guys ha mag English at saka Tagalog ako rito sa vlog ko kasi I really want also to let my husband know what I'm talking here on my blog. Well, actually, um, right now, uh, I have a photo of my baby, but I don't want to prolong a lot because of some, you know, uh, child policy issues here in YouTube. So, I'm gonna see you some pictures about uh, the the disease. It's a, it's a skin disease. I don't know where did she get that, uh, you know, foot and mouth disease, and she was not able to... I have a lot of sleepless night because she was not able to sleep uh, very tight when you know during night time because she she made a lot of crying so as a mother I really worried so since the doctor did not give any medicine for that because they said that there is no appropriate medicine for you know foot and mouth and foot hands and foot hands foot and mouth disease so there is no specific drug to treat a, a certain disease like that so um for one week wala siyang tulog so what i did meron po ako ditong i actually i have we bought this one two days ago i found We call it bay leaf or bay leaves, dahon ng laurel in Filipino. So, hinahanap ko talaga siya dito sa Japan. And I am very lucky because I found only one store selling the whole leaf of bay leaf. So, I'm gonna show you this one. Yeah, it's a whole leaf. So, I remember guys, uh, when we did not, you know, uh, use synthetic medicine or uh, prescription from the doctor I really want to go in the traditional way where I remember way back when I was a when I was a child that we, uh, we were being treated by our grandparents with the medicinal part of you know you know some traditional way but it it was then effective and I tried my best to find this and I am very lucky because I found three packs and I bought two and because I really need this. 
what I did is, um, I, I gonna s uh, share with you the the video because I'm really into video because this is a blog and this is a testimony of what I did here, and I'm gonna share it with you. If in case you have same, um, if in case you have same, you know, case with me, so I am a mother and. I need to treat my baby because I don't want my baby to, to cry a lot. So, my eye bug actually, my eye bug actually is getting bigger because I don't, I don't sleep for a couple of, you know, for a couple of days. I don't have enough sleep. So, right now my baby was able to sleep because uh, right now her skin or disease or like, uh, yung pangangati, I do not pangangati ba yun? Uh, from here in the truth and on the body are getting better. So, it's it's better now. So, what I did with this, I used the bay leaf. As you can see, at the side of the bay leaf, it's a little bit sharp. So, what I did is I, I, uh, I don't know, how, ginag, ginaganito ko siya. So, I'm gonna show you the... ito po guys kasi yung baby ko mayroon siyang mga I don't know, red spots hindi po siya measles sabi ng doktor sabi ng doktor foot and mouth disease so wala naman po siyang binigay na gamot yung doktor only asking me about what did she eat so tignan natin ito yung bay leaf dahon ng laurel, binili ko siya buti nilang nakita ko siya at least nakita ko siya sa isa sa mga tindahan dito sa Japan bihira lang talaga itong makita na the whole leaf so i-apply natin ng ganito para at least yung medyo kung makatiman siya kasi naalala ko nung dati yung nagkakasakit kami tapos may mga I don't know it's, if this one is allergy or not, basta walang Walang gamot na ibinibigay yung doktor. So, gagawa tayo ng mga traditional na mga pamahiin na I believe about the power of, you know, medicinal plants. Sana, na, ano na siya, maokin na ang baby ko kasi isang linggo na po ako walang tulog. So, I don't know, tumakas makati siguro at saka meron pa sa, sa bibig footage of that video so at pagkatapos pagkatapos mo siyang ihampas sa, sa mga kating mga uh, katawan lalo na sa palm ang dami niyang mga yung mga spots red spots at saka makakati talaga yun at saka dito sa dito sa paa I mean dito sa malapit sa tuhod um, it was really painful on my part because I'm I don't want to see her crying and bakit siya pampaswerte guys because um, I know the medicinal part of you know some of the useful leaves or some plants that can be used for you know medicinal purposes so after you're going to place that one to your baby skin you need to bring Okay. So I have here a sample of you know burning the leaf after and I put some salt and uh, after that there is a smoke so the smoke you are going to put the um, the, the affected area above the smoke so it will pacify later on so that's it and I have here a water I'm gonna give you a story about why this water is pampaswerte. Iniinom ko siya every morning. 
and then actually when my baby did not eat a lot so what I did is I used the water I cook rice we call it in our vernacular lugao so because she did not eat you know we have some Japanese baby food here in the house but she did not like to eat so I made a lugao or, or like the Japanese rice and I put some water and actually it's finished. I was able to, to sleep for about one week because this little baby has a the doctor confirmed that she has a foot and mouth disease and there are some spots or red reddish uh, that appears to her skin. I cooked this one and I put this one in the ref and it right now in Japan it's really hot and it's really hot in um, because of the temperature it's yesterday that was 36 or 37 degrees Celsius and it was really hot and I want my baby to eat so instead of giving her a Japanese baby food I cook rice with water and I put some salt just a pinch of it so this one is already open uh, on my previous blog uh, this was not open because um, yeah we we use this one and we put this one there in front of the door so I'm gonna give you a video about that there's a there are a lot of so there in front of the door my husband put the salt in front so guys if you are a mommy like me this is my testimony it's gonna be work because right now the itchiness and some red spots from my baby skin was gradually um uh disappear so nawawala siya ng konti konti hindi ka kasang uh dati rati ang dami niyang red spots so dapat lang ginaganyan ninyo tapos after that you have to burn that leaf. At saka madali naman siyang ma, uh, madali na siyang sunugin kasi ano siya dry na siya. At saka pag uh, pag uh, pag ano ba inaamoy mo yung bay leaf or dahon ng laurel mabango siya. At saka ginagawa ko rin kay Mist. Kasi ayaw kong magkasakit so pang baswerte guys. You just do the medicinal way of you know the traditional way of you know if we if the doctor could not treat give some medicine for that then please you can do some alternative especially here in the house that we are i am i am the only one who took good care of my baby because you know my husband also has another one from me from the baby to to her next and Actually, yesterday we were able to go to swimming lesson uh, because uh, the doctor said because we kept coming to the doctor and you know there was a doctor, uh, pediatrician, and there was another doctor that we went to. The that that doctor is for the skin um um his you know um he was into the skin um specialized in the skin care so we went there and we really want to we really want to ask them and when the doctor said uh, when i asked the doctor uh was it for long or how long how many days would it take for for my baby to heal or to to calm down all the itchiness I don't know on the skin so he said that it took one week or but the the bacteria would stay in in the body for about a month but then it would totally disappear if because it's a hand mouth and foot disease so all these areas although we need to wash our hands uh, after you know from you know from the outside going back to the house we need to wash our hands with water and I this is a salt guys huh? this is a salt but it was written in Japanese but th this is a salt you could also wash the hands of your baby using some salt although we 
uh, we need to clean up here in the house I, I clean it up and then I use alcohol but then we need to do the traditional way of keeping you know the health my priority guys is really the health and maybe money later on it will follow but actually it really works so for now I was I was really shocked because my husband told me yesterday it was being a news here in Japan from Hokkaido to Okinawa a lot of babies are being affected by this this kind of disease and it's it's an outbreak right now in Japan maybe due to change of weather because from you know here in Japan we there are three uh, four seasons so we experience you know uh, winter so summer right now in Japan because here now is August so right after summer there will be winter later on so yun nga guys sorry sa mga friends ko na hindi ko na nabalikan but actually um i am very happy for those who you know subscribe my channel and thank you so much for you know for those who trust me and for those um that for those things that i'm sharing uh, that i'm sharing here in in my blog so guys if you are a mommy because i've learned it from my grandma grandmother before that uh because we were not so close to the doctor so before long time ago so i need also to use some you know medicinal parts that could be useful to our health and pampa suerte talaga siya for the health because right now my baby can i was able to do the vlogging again because she was able to sleep but before she was really crying so if you notice on my previous blog i was not able to upload some videos or make some vlog because I was so busy <laughs> you know taking good care of my baby because a lot of crying and I don't want to let her cry a lot because it we are very close to the neighbor I don't want to disturb here our neighbors who are sleeping right now so thank you Lord for for this belief it's very useful and it's very rare to find here in Japan I could only find only one store selling this one i don't know what happened but actually it's no more i have i just grabbed two two packs so for that so guys thank you very much thank you so much i really appreciate for your time and help and for watching me and sharing my videos about the bay leaf that you pampa suerte sa kalusugan lalo na sa one year old ko na anak na ginagamot ko uh, gamit yung uh, bay leaf na nakakatulong sa kalusugan ng tao. Thank you very much. So this is our third time to be here for a crawling race again here in Japan. And it's gonna be the last one since my baby is going to walk. So we're going to be ready for her crawling race. So gambate. <laughs> the watermelon and she like it and please use ladol that is not uh silver or like uh yeah use that the ladol that could let that would let her bite and this would be easier for her to drink the watermelon do you like it like it down. stand up Stand up. Stand up, please. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, okay, very good. Stand up. Okay. Okay, sit down. Sit down, please. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, this leaf is Gikisho. Gikisho. We call it.